It's scary. Amazing. That's huge. You heard it here first. Welcome to Ask Abby. Today I have Sir Ryan Jenkins on the couch, direct from London, baby. Well, I know it's London, but exactly where in London did you live? Um, so I've lived all over London. So we've done Wimbledon, I've done Barnes, we've, we've traveled around, we've got to know the city a little bit, and I like to mix it up, I like to travel a lot. And where are you originally from? I'm what from town? a place called the Isle of Wight. It's a little island and it's between France and England. A tiny little place and it's like stepping back in time. And we have like boats with chains on it. And normally when I go back, they think I'm some crazy guy with my, with my get up. Uh, so I'm like, whoa, we're back in time, honey. What so, do you mean with your get up? You look like a, a, a wonderful English gentleman. Thank you. But people don't dress like this on the island. It's a sailing town. So we have the big yacht regatta and a lot of the royal family come down each year. Wow. And yeah, it's fabulous. But I'm it's, kind of a boat girl. Are you? What oh, sort of yes. boats do you do? Well, a sailboat, a big, good yeah, sailboat. Yeah, with like, some nice sailmen. Yeah, as if, you know, Robert Redford. Okay, I'm feeling you. Yeah, I'm like that. Barbara Streisand, the way we were, the oh. boat, the the turtleneck sweater, the, you know. It is nice to sit on the waves, just have a nice bottle of wine, sun down on well, you. Well, now those days are over for me because the chair will not. Um, if we get a big enough boat, Ben, I'm sure we can wheel you on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll push you over I, the bumps, I think darling. There's a, I, I think there's a compliment in there somewhere. <laughs> All right. So you are here in Hollywood. Yes, I've arrived. Finally. Finally. Oh, God, yes. So tell me about this entire process. What went right? What went wrong? And what are you going to do now? Well, it's been, what, a year and a half to get this visa. And I've done it independently. Because normally when you come over, you're sponsored by a company or a production, we are basically doing a show. So in London, I'm working with Simon Cowell, doing all the big TV shows, had these credits, but we spoke a couple of years yes. ago and you yes. asked me to be on the show. Yes. And then I was the start of the journey and I did not realize how hard it was. So if you're wanting to get a visa, honey, get ready, because it costs a lot of money and a lot of paperwork. And But I've done it and I tell you what, it was worth it. So if you want to do it, you're going to have to fight for it, but we're yes. here. I mean, think of how many times I've been to the UK I've brought the kids along. I even brought the mothers along. You know, all yep. of that. And we all had to have visas. I paid for the attorney. I had to hire all the people. It, it, it's a lot. Yes. And people don't understand that. I think there's a lot of people that just show up in California all the time without a visa. Completely. And with the, that was the hardest bit. I was really fascinated with the amount of credits that I have. That I still had to jump through so many loopholes to get here. So what type of visa do you have? I have an O-1. But normally to get an O-1 visa, you have to have a Nobel Prize, win an Oscar. Haven't done any of that. <laughs> <laughs> but hold up, hold up. But I am in a two-time Oscar-nominated movie, Phantom of the Opera. So I just dropped that one in the there. The film? The film. You were a dancer in the I film? I was a dancer that. Joel Schumacher was the director. And uh -huh. we did that with Minnie Driver at Pinewood Studios in London. Well, congratulations. Thank you. That's a big deal. And do you want to talk about how we actually met? Yes, we did. So we met, oh my God, it was years ago now. This was at Pineapple Studios in London. Pineapple Studios, which is a dance studio. Yes. Like a professional, more adult dance studio. And I was there with the kids from the cast of Dance Moms. I took them over. You know, their idea of a vacation is Ocean City, New Jersey or somewhere. Right. Right. So I took the kids and I wanted to set up a dance class because I wanted them to go to Pineapple and see it all and do it all. And they gave me a few people's resumes that were teaching. And I, I looked didn't at, know that you got you, you I got picked today. Oh yes, oh, really? absolutely. I'm just so <laughs> so uh, I saw Ryan Jenkins, and I saw that you were in Wicked. Yeah. And my student, Mark. Yeah. Yes, Mark Myers uh, was the dance supervisor for Wicked all over the world after he was in the show, and then the dance captain, and blah blah blah. And so he actually auditioned you. Oh wow! I didn't realize. Yes. yes. And then he had to you know clean the show and make sure it was perfect. And you did Wicked. So yes. that was the connection. And I thought, oh. That's it. So you got here. Yes. You're here. You're on the ground. Yes, you have the ocean that way. You have the crime that way. Okay, <laughs> and now what are the plans? What are the plans at the moment? I, I saw you out and about. Oh, I've been on a few red carpets since we've been here. Yes, and mm -hmm. I saw you on one. I've heard I'm a little... Yeah, I'm meeting lots of producers. I've been on the Universal lot. Um, there's the new TV shows are all coming out now. Yes, pilot with season. With Disney, Universal TV, so I'm having meetings with that. A lot of the producers and directors are calling me up. 
Um, I have a new dance app coming out soon. Talk about that. So in the UK, we have something like dance examinations. So I, yes. I have a dance. It's very, very different than the United States. Just to make this clear, kids, anybody in the United States can open a dance studio. Anybody. All you do is rent a space and put a shingle out there and a sign that says dance studio. Anybody. You don't need a license. You don't need an inspector. You don't need a, like a health inspector to come and check you out. You don't need any type of uh, any authorization and you can do it. You can teach children from the age of two up to adults. It's scary. In the UK, it is very different. Well, many other countries, it's very different. Can you explain to the audience a little bit about that? So in the UK, you have to have a license to be a teacher. And we set up a dance examination board with a street dance and contemporary syllabi. And what we do is the teachers come on a course and we, tr we teach them how to teach. And we teach them the skills that they need to make the children progress to be utterly fabulous. Right. So what we've done is we've recorded over 200 videos with one-on-one -on -one lessons with me, breaking everything down. And then it's done with the counts and then with the music. Right. And it's going to be like a streaming service, which you can get on your tablet. It's a bit like, but like the streaming TV shows you do. So you pay a monthly subscription. Okay. And then we're going to put that out. We're going to go worldwide with it. We're going to offer teacher training courses. And then if they want to do it, what we do is we give the children an exam at the end of the year. Okay. So we would come into the all studio. You'd see the set work. And there's choreography, improvisation. And then you would get graded on that like a competition. And if you do well, you get a distinction and a certificate. And you even get a work it selfie with me. <laughs> Work it because yep. you're worth it. Honey. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. And that's fabulous. Thank we you. need more, you know, I think less competitions and more education would be great. It is. It's, uh, the thing with the competitions I find today is that uh, everyone's just too hungry and they're missing that it's actually about the training. And it is when about you, the training. It and, is. And that and training is I so think important. in the United States, you know, way back when my mom was doing it, her kids got paid to perform. Yeah. But when we were in Pittsburgh, there wasn't anywhere to perform. What are you going to do? So it turned out to be a way to pay people to get on stage to perform. And that's sometimes how you have to look at it. Not win, 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 which I, I kind of did win, 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 yeah, win. Of course. But, but it's more about getting on stage and learning to perform. Yes. You know, that's, that's the key if you're going to go into theater professionally. Yes. And I didn't do because I didn't start dancing until I was 15. Whoa, that's Yes, late. and then I went off to professional training and I hadn't done many competitions, but what I had learned from my dance training was to show social etiquette in the room, not to slouch, not to fold your arms and to bring great energy right. and inspire the choreographers. And then I was a bit like a young Billy Elliot. So my first job was Matthew Bourne, Swan Lake, which I know you love. That, okay, can we just say, <laughs> that is one of my top five Broadway shows ever <laughs> ever is Matthew Bourne Swan Lake and there's a production out right now yes they were in New just, York and they're in LA and it's just crazy. been here so I got that when I was 18 and we did a world tour and again the so, the etiquette within the room was just about being on time being polite speak when you're spoken to and do your job you don't need to be shouting and arguing and all that it's like go away honey there's the door close it behind you because Everyone's replaceable. <laughs> it's serious, though. No, but yes. And in, in the real world, you won't, like, you tell people on a professional job, you won't get spoken to, and they won't tell you what you're doing wrong. You just don't get asked. You just said, that's the end of your contract. Thank you very much. And they just don't ask you to come back again. Right. And kids need to know that. It is really, really true. So sometimes yes. you just got to, you don't agree with it, and it happens on many productions. And secrecy, you need to keep your mouth shut and just smile and get on with the job. All right. Okay. Now, is there anything you'd like to ask Abby? Well, you know what, darling? On that note, I did bring my own little <gasps> honey. <laughs> so I Do you thought... know what this is? Uh, um. It's the um bell. I know. When a kid says um, I dig it. So I thought I could give you fire round questions. I'm ready. Okay. So, oh. Okay, so I'll ding it. So you got, it's well, got a time limit. I have the good one. Favourite Broadway musical? Whoopi Goldberg live. Fabulous one. Okay. Question two. Favourite Kardashian? Chloe. Okay. Favourite ballet that you've ever watched? No, but apart from Swan Lake. S Nutcracker. Okay, Nutcracker. We like that one. Okay, fabulous. Favourite pop artist? Uh, well, I'm going to go with Beyonce, but we need to work on the feet. Okay, I'm feeling that one. Okay, fabulous. Are you single? Yes. Why are you not dating? I didn't say I wasn't dating. Ah, I just said okay. I wasn't single. I, I, I didn't say I wasn't dating. Uh, I just said 
I was single. All right, darling. Okay. Who uh, are we allowed to know anything more here? No. Okay. Uh, how long's it been going? Maybe two years. No. Oh, that. <laughs> love that. I. He is not ringing that because I said um. <laughs> he is not ringing that because I said um. He's just ringing it to be silly. Uh, favorite dancer of all time, apart from me, obviously. Oh, a kid named Katie Hackett. Okay, okay, nice one. Okay, what are the plans for 2020 for Abby? 2020 for Abby. I have four new TV shows. Wow, congratulations. That I'm pitching. And they all want me to be on camera. And I don't want to be on camera. I want to show up in sweatpants and a but baseball hat. you are hat. on camera. You are an entity that people want to watch. Why would you not want to be on the camera? Well, because they're just different projects, you know? And they're great. They're amazing. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, I am under contract right now to Lifetime. Yes. So I'm just kind of treading water. Okay. So on until that note, my contract is over. You, I think everybody wants to know out there, is there a new season happening on? I don't know. They have until February 10th to tell me. And they called the other day and they want to extend my contract for three more months. Okay. And I said, no, no. Hey. So uh, we're working on that right now. Okay. So we'll see. So, I would like to do a season nine. Nice. I hope there is a season nine because I would like to do it because I enjoy working with these kids. They're wonderful. They come in to class, you know, ready and excited. And they, they look at me like I have a wealth of knowledge and they want to learn. They want to get better and they want to be the best. Yes. And so it's nice. Oh, wonderful. You know, nobody's rolling their eyes at me. Nobody's yawning in my face. Mm. Nobody's watching the clock. It, they're real dancers. Yes. They want to be the best they can be. Oh, good. And have you ever thought about doing a musical like Abby the Musical or Dancer on the Musical? We have done uh, a lot of uh, preliminary work on Dance Moms the Musical. Wow. Uh, about four years ago, uh, Tony Winning, director. I'm sorry. Let me say that again. Uh, about four, about five, about four or five years ago, a Tony Winning producer. Uh, contacted us about producing Dance Moms the Musical. And I jumped on it and flew to New York and met with him and blah, blah, blah. It was amazing. And Lifetime put the kibosh on it. Okay. And they own the rights. Right. So... You can always write a new one. Well, we might... Maybe, you know, who knows? Dance Monster. You know, oh, Dance Monster. That would be funny. You heard it here first. <laughs> You've heard it here first. And are you going to write another book for people to know more about Abby's life? Well, things? we'll see what happens with this next contract in season nine because the book title might be How Lifetime Ruined My Life. <laughs> Killing it. Okay. But are you happy yourself now? Because obviously you've been through a lot in the last couple of years. Where are well, you at? Well, I think physically I'm very upset. You know, I lost a lot of weight and I worked really hard and walked around the track and lifted the weights and did it all. And then never got to have the surgery to remove all the skin and do all that. And then sitting in this chair, I gained 80 pounds back. It's, it's mm. ridiculous. Everybody just wants to go to lunch. All I do is shop and eat and shop and eat. So it gets old. I want to work. Yes. I want to be vital to society. Yes. I want to matter in this life in this world well you matter you know, to so many of the kids out there so you've got to keep getting on the telly and inspiring more kids to keep dancing well thank you thank you ryan i appreciate that uh yeah i do and i think every time i see a show every time i go to a competition the two of us were at a, at a competition the other night i just shake my head and think oh my god i need to be teaching why isn't anybody telling these kids how to stand <laughs> it's crazy crazy it is. Yes. But you're back. So I think I'm, I'm back. And She's I'm, back. And She's I'm, back. Right. Yeah. And I'm, you know, going to a new rehab facility uh, where I'm going to live. For and a are you weeks. working hard at the rehab? Because I've been watching all your videos. Yes. So fab. Yes. I'm working hard, hard but, for you. but the way the United States works and the insurance, I mean, thank goodness you have free health care because oh. it's very different here. And, you know, I go one hour, two times a week. Right. And undoubtedly, they cancel me one of the okay. times. So, it's one hour a week. I'm never going to learn to walk again. I need to be there five hours a day, every day, Saturday and Sunday included. I need to be worked as if I was a coach and I was coaching one of my dancers or my team. I need that coach to be yeah. like me and get me up and get me walking and get me Well, know, maybe this moving. new boyfriend could help you every day a little bit, you know? <laughs> maybe he does. <laughs> maybe he does. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's not a new boyfriend. Okay. He's just but like two a, years isn't old. Just like an so old flame. Old flame. There we but go. Two years, I was. Yeah. <laughs> You but go. you know, two years I was pretty laid up for most of the time during those two years. <laughs> Amazing. So um, you've had loads of guests. What other guests have you had on the show? Just you, Ryan. It's all about you. Oh my god, I love it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna play a little game now. Okay, let's do it. All I'm right. Excited. Now. Oops. Is that ridiculous or what? <laughs> what is wrong with this picture? I can't see anything wrong with it. Mate, it's art. You know what that is? That's fashion art. So if you were doing Donatella, you would slightly turn in and pose it. So, yeah, it could She's work. She's laying in an intertube. She's not but with how do Donatella. We know that's a da- that could be a fashion foot, not a dance foot. Okay, can I just say, her feet are completely sickled, her ankles are lazy, and her feet are just hanging there. Do you know who this is? No. She's no. a model. She's a model and there an actress. There it is. I was so... She's a model and an actress. And I was is... so right. She's a model and... But that's what you do, modeling. She She's a model and an actress. Her name is Ruby, and she yep. was just here. Was she? Yes. Oh. She was just here. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? Oh, they're love. What's wrong with that picture? Oh, I'm liking the feet. Hello, look at that arch. Oh, they're, and the little, I like a little bit of a sway back. They're gorgeous. Oh, you know, I have terrible feet. So you do? I, oh, they're awful. So when we were doing Swan Lake, basically. So what's wrong with this picture? I don't know. With the photograph, what's wrong? With the photograph, well, there's something, there's something black in the background. No, 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 they just cut her foot off. Oh, that, oh, that's the picture. When okay. you take a photo, you don't cut the feet off. You, you leave the feet, it's a line. You're creating a line. You're creating a line, and you don't cut the feet off. Now, this, do you know who this young lady is? No. Oh, it's gone. Go back one. Mm. Who is that? Do you know? That is a girl. Does anybody out there know? It's a girl. A lovely dancer. Yep. Lovely young lady. Psycho mother. She was on Dance Moms and left in the middle of the night. Oh, Without a word. Okay. It wasn't for them. It wasn't for them, but no. you don't even know who the kid is. <laughs> I don't know. Well, if she, she would have she stayed on the on show. It, I, of course I don't know. She left. If she would have stayed night. on the show, you would know who the kid was. Her name is Sophia Lucia. <laughs> oh, I love her. She's a beautiful dancer. She's got the she's the uh, world champion at spinning, isn't she? S- Pirates. Yes. Pirates. But, well, spinning is right. Okay. It has something to do with that ponytail. But she's in ballet Ponytail's now. Ponytail's on one side and it like whips her around. Okay. Uh, that's my take. All right, now let's look at this. What's wrong with this picture? Well, that's a ponche. Well, it's beautiful. It'd be a lovely line. Obviously, it depends how much you want to go, but if there's a man there, she's probably leaning over towards him. So I feel like it's a trick question. Me? A trick question? Never, Abby. Never, 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 never. <laughs> Ta da. Oh, it's Darcy. I judged with Darcy once in London. Darcy Russell. Yes. She's fabulous. But Darcy Russell's our, she's American. Darcy no? Russell, no, Darcy Russell's our British queen. She's English. Darcy. Bustle. Bustle, okay, we have a Darcy Russell. The Russell, oh, okay. Let's do that again. Do you know her? Yes, that is Darcy Russell. So she, it was the prima ballerina for the Royal Ballet in London. And I judged with her once for a competition. But what about him? Who posed him? That's Carla Tacosta. Yes. So, but he's doing contemporary he's like, like Alvin Ailey, isn't he? So, yeah, that's a high leg to get that height, isn't it? So, yeah, he's got really. Good... Oh, okay. Because they're English, <laughs> he's thinking this is fabulous. I don't think so. Okay. All right. <laughs> what about those legs? The lovely. I love the dress. Can? Why are you so nice? <laughs> They're just fabulous. Anybody know who that is? You think those legs are straight? Think those knees are straight? Those maybe legs are turned she, maybe out? Maybe going into a plie. Oh, yeah, maybe it was a screenshot. Yeah. But what's wrong with the photograph? Um, again, I would say it's got the feet cut off like the you said. The feet are cut off. I'm learning. The feet are cut off. You don't do that. All right. And that is none other than... 
I don't know who that is. Oh, no. it's Kalani. No, who's that? Yeah, it's Kalani. Oh, she's lovely. Oh, she's a gorgeous dancer. She's a gorgeous dancer. dancer. Gorgeous yeah, dancer. Not watch. a great shot to post. You know, you have to know the difference. Am I right? You do. You do. So, I'm going to go through everybody's pictures okay. and tell them what's wrong with them. Because I used to be really, you know, into the whole photography thing because we did those big program books. Yes. Back in Pittsburgh and everything. And... You can make a kid look great in a shot, or you can make a kid look awful in a shot. I think it's something, again, there should be lessons on it as well within teaching. So a lot of people, I think, at the studios, because people are dance teachers, they're not photographers. Right. So there should be, it would be great if there was something, maybe maybe we set something up, we do something here in LA. Well, I'll do can, that. All right, you do that, honey. And I can tell the teachers and the students. How to, how to do it properly. How to do it. How yeah. to look, you know. Again, you, it's you education, educating teachers to help. Education. You can have a kid win the every competition be the first overall high score win yeah. every scholarship and then they post something like that on their yes instagram doesn't make sense okay so what are the plans what's the game plan you have your visa you move to hollywood you're going to be a star oh totally honey i'm going to take over so what's the plan how, okay. how are you going to take over how is ryan jenkins going to become steven spielberg Oh, Steven, you know, I have just directed my first music video uh, with At Little Pale, and we're launching that in spring. And then I'm just working with another artist here in LA. I'm doing their video. Uh, so I'm just getting into directing of music videos because normally I'm choreographing and everything, uh, right. basically. Um, I'm open to doing a lot of things at the moment. We're looking at doing... I heard an arm in there. You did, liar. Uh, we are... Oh, uh, so you're getting... Oh, no, you know I'm now going to keep saying it. You put it into my head. Breathe. Ooh, Ryan's back in the room. Three, two, one, go. So I'm looking to do, <laughs> looking to do some presenting, maybe reality. I want to work in film, television. I would love to do. But, but Ryan, everybody here wants to work in film. Yeah, but television. I've already done it in London. So why Look can't I Look at all these it? guys sitting here. They work Honey, in film Honey, I'm a big fish in a big pond and I'm just transferring my skills. Okay. This isn't like starting from scratch. So um, I'm just moving. It's like a lateral move. Yeah, it's just flying across. I'm arrived. And yeah, let's do it, baby. You, you flew across the pond. I did in an Uber helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Pri <laughs> private jet, Donatella lent it to me. Versace. All right. So now, oh. really, seriously, give me the game plan. I can't What's first? I'm not allowed to say. It's all, it's all top secret. It's meetings. But that's why you come on Ask Gabby so that you can well, promote the new... Well, so, you promoted the app. So let's yeah, go so, back okay, to that. So you know, one thing I want to do is uh, we're gonna, I'm going to travel across America and I'm going to do workshops. Okay. So I'm going to take some assistance. We're going to launch the app. So you're going to get to learn Jenkins technique, which is what I teach, and all of my new choreography, improvisation skills. And that's all really good things. I want to see America. America is such a beautiful country. I would love to travel across, see all the great dancers. You guys, come and see me. Let's work it together and then we're going to start with that and having meetings at the moment but i've only i've only been here two weeks so we well, have come on i mean speed time, up time is a waste in time is money time honey. is, money, time money, is honey. money you got it you got it you got it <laughs> all right well maybe maybe on your tour you will get to pittsburgh i would love to do pittsburgh. and you will get to the real aldc oh i would love to go there and, and do you that. can see the you know the blood and the sweat <laughs> and the walls and the floor and you can experience it firsthand i best not wear my uh, my brogues then shall i no 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 no, 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 no. and it was lovely to have a dignified eloquent english gentleman on my couch thank you it's kind of a first oh Mwah. take care thank you so much Hi, I'm Ryan Jenkins, and you can find me on TikTok and Instagram at Real Ryan Jenkins. Hashtag work it, because Abby and I and you are worth it. Oh, wait a minute. The real Ryan Jenkins? The real baby. Kind of like the real Abby Lee? Honey, you, I, I'll say you, did you, did you, you inspired, copy? You inspired did you copy? me. Well, I guess that isn't, you know, copying the best form of flattery. It is. Yeah, right. They say imitation is the best form imitation of flattery. Imitation is the yes. best form of flattery. Okay. Yes. All right. Hey, until next time. Yes. I can't wait. Break a leg, babe. Thank you, baby. Break a leg. Thank you. You've obviously watched my video. Now like, comment, and subscribe.